All right, now that you have your component with the state that you understand, we are going to practice a little bit. So what we are going to do is that instead of having the movies array outside of the component, we're going to put it inside of the state. OK, so to do this, I'm going to cut this and I'm going to put it inside of the state. And then all I have to do is this thing. All right. And now it will say here, movies is not defined because the component cannot find the movies anymore. So what we are going to do will be very simple. Instead of doing movies, we do this dot state dot movies compiles. And if we go back here, it should do. Yeah, everything is the same. All right. And so I'm going to remove this greeting thing. Perfect. Now I want to add one more movie. All right. To this thing, I want to add one more. So what I'm going to do is when the component mounts, I'm going to create a timeout. At what a timeout means is that I am going to create a function that I'm go I'm, I am going to execute after certain amount of time. So the way you create a function that you execute after a certain amount of time is by doing set timeout inside here, you will create a function and then you will tell the function how much time after the page loads you want it to start in milliseconds. This means that this is a one second. So here I create a function. Now the way you create a function will be like this. All right. And for example, you say console log hello. If we come here, we refresh, nothing happens. And then after one second, hello. OK, so that's how you create a function that executes after the page loads or after the component mounts. Now, this is old JavaScript. You don't need to type function anymore. All right. So what you can do instead of doing that is this. And it will be the same thing because it's modern JavaScript. And we'll check and it says hello. Perfect. Now, here I want to add one more movie to my movie array. OK, so what I will do is I will say this set state. OK, and inside of the set state, I will say that I want to add one more movie. The way I add one more movie is by doing this one, two, three. This state movies all right and then inside no sorry movies like this and then inside of it i will say one two three movies and i'm gonna add a new one and this one will be title uh blah, i don't know Transporting. And just for the sake of it, let's just get well, the same image, whatever. Same image of Star Wars, doesn't matter. Movies is not defined. This state movies. All right. Okay. And if we come here, as you can see, it refreshes. And we are train spotting at the end. All right. Now, this is very simple, but let's look at the concept and let's look at what's happening here. I'm saying that with the component mounts, I'm going to create a timeout. This means a function that render that uh, executes after some time, and the time is here. All right. Now, this function is going to execute after the page loads and one second, so five seconds, for example. So we have Star Wars and after five seconds, we're going to see train spot because it's going to add. All right. Now, what is happening here? This is very, this is a very interesting thing. What is happening here is that we are saying, OK, we have the array called movies. Now we want to add one more movie to this array. Now, if I don't do this, let's see what happens. Star Wars, Matrix and everything. And after five seconds, what you will see is that we will only have just one movie. As you see, it changed. We only have one movie. We didn't add one more. We just replaced all of them. 
and ended up with the last one. So this is what this line is doing. What this line is doing is saying, hey React, you are going to set the state, which is state over here, and you are going to take the movies array, which is this one, all right? And what this line is saying is, you are going to leave what the array has before, okay? What the array had before, the previous elements, you're gonna leave them there, and then you're gonna add one more, okay? So what we're doing here is that we're adding one more. We are not replacing. If we did this, we'll just replace. Now the state will be equivalent to this, okay? The state won't be equivalent to all these movies, Matrix, Full Metal Jacket, All the Void, and train spotting, it will be just equivalent to train spotting. So that's what we're doing. We're just saying, hey React, take the previous state and let it there and add one more, one more thing. Okay? So these are the kind of things we can do from the with the state. And it's very fun because we can, for example, we can get these movies from a database and we can maybe get more. Um, one cool effect that people do is that when whenever the page is loading and somebody scrolls, they will get more movies. So this is one example of uh, what, what they call infinite scrolling. Because you could do that. You could get maybe 25 movies to start, and when you get to the end, you will just replace, yeah, sorry, you will just add more movies and more movies and more movies. That's how Facebook loads the stories, that's how, that's how Instagram loads their photos. You will just keep putting things under and under and under, all right? So let's make this better, train spotting. And we are good. Funny, this one is funny. All right, awesome. Uh, here we go. So let's check it out. So we have Star Wars, we're good. And then, after five seconds, we add train spotting. Now what happens, just let me do, this is not prepared at all. So maybe this she will go to, uh, this will be a mistake, but we'll see. Fucking hell. What happens if I do this? Maybe it will be before it. Let's check it out. Maybe I'll add it before. Yeah, awesome. I didn't know that shit. That's cool. All right. So... That's it for this set state. We're going to keep practicing, but uh, I think that's all you need to know. Just remember that sometimes we don't want to replace the whole state like this. We want to just put something more and keep the old ones. All right, see you on the next one.